Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us look at Morgan's dihybrid cross experiment. So now we will see the way uh, Mendel had performed a dihybrid, a dihybrid cross by taking the seed color and seed shape. So uh, on similar lines, Morgan also performed a dihybrid experiment where he considered two traits of the Drosophila. So all Morgan's experiment were on the fruit fly that is Drosophila. So what did he do? He crossed yellow bodied white eyed females. So what were the two traits that he considered? So he considered two traits and what were those two traits? That is why it was a dihybrid cross. And what were the two traits? One was the body color and the other trait was the eye color. So these were the two traits which he considered. So he considered body color which could be either yellow or brown. Now brown has a plus sign which shows that brown is dominant over yellow color. Similarly, the eye color can be red or white. Red is dominant over white. So red has a, so it has a plus sign. Right? So he took yellow bodied white eyed females and brown bodied red eyed males. So this is what he used. So the parental generation was yellow bodied white eyed females and brown bodied red eyed males. So this was the parental generation. Now when these two were crossed, what did you observe? In the F1 generation, you observed that all were brown bodied, red eyed. Now here I told you that brown, brown color is dominant over yellow color and similarly red color is dominant over white color. So in the F1 generation, it was again as per Mendel's rules. That is the dominant trait was being expressed and the recessive trait remained hidden. So that is what was that was what was observed in the F1 generation. So till F1 is it was as per Mendel's rules of inheritance. But what happened in F2? Now in the F2 generation, it was observed that 98% of the 98.7% of the offsprings were exactly like parents. So they were exactly like these: either yellow-bodied, white-eyed, or brown body, red eye. So they were exactly similar to the parents and only 1.3% were recombinants. Now what are recombinants? Means new combination which were different than the parents. So this was observed. Now as per Mendel's rules, what it used to be in case of Mendel's rules? So it, with Mendel's rules, the F2 generation ratio used to be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So there we used to see recombinations, right? This 9 digit was for the parental generation. The 1 was also for the parental generation. You remember when we tried with round yellow seeds and wrinkled green seeds, we saw that this 9 number was for homozygous round and yellow seeds. This one was for homozygous, wrinkled and green seeds. But what about this three and this three? They were the new combinations, right? They represented the new combinations. So basically they were the recombinants. So here we saw that in case of Mendel's, uh, Mendel's genetics, there we saw that a lot of recombinations were being produced. But now we saw that most of the F2 generation, most of the offsprings in the F2 generation were similar to parents. So they did not have much change. Only a very few of them had some changes. So now there was a discrepancy. So here was the discrepancy between Morgan's dihybrid cross and Mendel's dihybrid cross. So this showed that Mendel's law of independent assortment was actually not happening here. Because based on the dihybrid cross only Mendel gave the principle of independent assortment that all the gametes, I mean the gametes of the two different traits are getting segregated independent of each other. So that was the principle which Mendel gave after uh, doing the dihybrid cross. But here since we were not getting the same ratio, this proved that the Mendel's law of independent assortment was not taking place in this case. So had that been a universal law, it should have been correct even in this case. But that was not the case. So with this, Morgan got the idea of linkage. So what is linkage? That is what we will study now. So with this, he got the idea of linkage and therefore 
he worked in different lines to prove that why most of them are like parents and why there are very few recombinants. So he also worked out the reason why these recombinants occur. Now why these recombinants occur, they are primarily because of the behavior of the chromosomes during the cell division. So that is where it is coming from. So from there these recombinants are actually coming. So with the help of the concept of linkage, Morgan was able to find out the gap in the Mendel's rule of independent assortment. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt a free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.